Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into the modern classic known as Mighty Flip Champs. This game can automatically save your progress. Insert a memory stick, blah, 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 blah. Sure, go ahead and auto save. Go ahead and create a save game. That is totally fine. Here we are, Mighty Flip Champs. This is a puzzle platformer where you cannot jump. Now, if it sounds kind of lame to you to be playing a platform game where you can't jump, well, fear not, because you, though you can't jump, you have a much better power, the power to swap freaking dimensions. Yes, just like in uh, Stranger Things, the Upside Down, or maybe in Link to the Past, the Light in the Dark World, you can actually flip through two parallel worlds that have slightly different obstacles. And so the whole crux of the game is not jumping over obstacles as Mario would, but uh, going through them strategically by phasing through realities, which I think is a cooler ability than jumping. Maybe it's just me, but uh, I think someone who could phase through realities, if they couldn't jump, I would give them a pass. Now, you're playing as the main character, Alta there, as you can see on the right. She's holding up a, a wand of power, which I believe is the thing that lets her pass through dimensions. And she is chasing the sinister fish man who's standing behind her, looking terrified, actually. Seems more like she's the aggressor and he's the victim, but uh, I don't know. I guess she's the hero. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started here. So... Um, here we are starting in our first stage, and it is going to teach us the mechanics as we go as Alta here figures out how to phase through the realities. So as you can see, I cannot get past this block. And if you just sort of didn't know what was going on, you might say, oh man, what the hell? What the hell's going on? Um, how come I can't jump? But lo and behold, let's see if I can figure out the button that allows us to fit. There it is. We can phase through realities, and we can reach... Fishman, da, da 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 and then he's all surprised that we actually made it through the uh, blocks. And, oh, Fishman! We love Fishman. Oh, I thought he was like an evil Bowser type character, but no, Fishman is on our side. Oh, we got a D on that. Yeah, I kind of, I mean, that level you should be able to blow through in like two seconds. Hold on, let's go, let's go back one second and get a better grade on that. I just can't have a D on my report card, guys. I can't. I can't. We have, we have to do better than this. So here. Here's the fastest you could possibly solve this level. There's no faster way to do it. 5.25 seconds, and that is a record. I guarantee it. I did not let go of the button at, at any point, so there's no faster way to do that. That is an S. I love how in video games, it's like the grading scale is like F, D, C, B, A, and then S. I've never gotten an S in school. It would be pretty awesome if I did. All right, let's uh, carry on here. And as we're going through the levels, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this game. So it was originally released on the Nintendo DS. It was part of the Nintendo DS store. And, uh oh, here are, here are uh, like chain link fences, I guess. You can sort of climb. Um, it's interesting, like, watching what's happening in the in the un the other dimension. She's just sort of, like, floating in the air. Look at that on the right-hand side there. Kind of floating there. Anyway, this game originally came out on the Nintendo DS. And uh, if you do want to try and play this game on the Nintendo DS these days, I have a surprise for you. You can't, really. Um, this was a DS eyewear game, meaning that it came out on their digital store. A little kiss for the fish man. It came out on their digital store, and it uh, that digital store doesn't really exist anymore. It's kind of gone. We'll accept this D, by the way. We'll just we'll just accept it. So it's impossible to get the original version of this game anymore. Now I do believe that all the DSiWare store games have moved over to just the Nintendo store. So if you have a Nintendo 3DS, I think you can get your hands on this game. I don't have a 3DS, um, as you guys may or may not know, and so there was no way for me to actually get a hold uh, of this game. Uh, on a Nintendo system, which is a shame. I would have loved to play this on a Nintendo DS, but hey, what can you do when the stores are retired? You just sort of at the, at the whim of the companies. But uh, it is pretty cool. This game has actually come out uh, on PlayStation consoles. So if you don't have a Nintendo DS, and not that a DS would even help you these days, if you don't have a 3DS, you can still actually play this game by checking out the PlayStation Store. And interestingly, this game has been released. It, it's not a PlayStation portable game. It's not a PlayStation Vita game. It's not a PlayStation 3 game, but you can play it on all those systems. You can even play it on the discontinued PlayStation TV. This is a game that's released for the, quote, PS Mini, which I had no idea what the heck that was, and I had to Google it and look it up. P 
NES mini games are games that were uh, released on the PlayStation Store, and they're compatible with the PS with PSPs, with PS3s, with PS Vitas, with all these different things. So they're kind of like a very interesting kind of game. They're not technically a PS3 or a PSP game. I am playing this on a PSP um, today. Because uh, I figured it would make the most sense if I were playing this on a... Uh... Oh, no, I fell the spikes! Oh, God. Oh, and I, I warped into a wall. Oh, wow. Okay, I totally messed that one up. Oh, cool. Okay, puzzles are getting more sophisticated. Hard for Jay to talk and solve at the same time. Um, but I figured this would be most appropriate to play on a PSP because, essentially, this was supposed to be originally played on the uh, Nintendo DS. So, hey, that brings us to where we are today. Um, and look, we can... Let's, let's try this. Warping and catch. Oh, yeah. You can pu pull off some cool tricks if you phase through the dimensions at just the right time. Very interesting. So I imagine these levels can get quite sophisticated. Okay, so what we have to do here is... Okay, we phase and we start falling. Then we phase back just in time. Like now. And we're good. Fishman catches us and we're all good. Yeah, I love you, Fishman. Take me away. I like how he just explodes, but then we get oddly separated from each other again. I don't understand. Am I wish with Fishman? Look, he does not look like he likes me. He looks like he's straight up terrified of me. Is this like an abusive relationship? Fishman got all mixed up with this girl who had the power to warp dimensions, and he doesn't know how to tell her that he's not interested anymore. He's seeing a nice mermaid on the side, and God, if uh, if uh, this uh, this this crazed human ever found out, that would just be the death of him. Okay, so what do we have to do here? This is interesting. Okay, hold on. If we're over here... Huh. Oh, whoa! There's... Oh, there's multiple dimensions! Oh, man, are you guys seeing this? Whoa! My mind just got wrinkled! Whoa! Wait, there's more than one dimension? This is crazy. Okay. Then we go over here. Whoa! Neat! Okay, and then we're gonna have to fall... That's okay. And we're going to have to... Oh, no. Fall again. Okay, that's okay. And then we... Is there a way to, like, warp the dimensions back or no? I guess not. I guess we always have to go forward. In dimensional shifting, you must always move forward. Oh, this is so interesting. Okay, now we're trapped in the ceiling. Oh, God. And the next time we warp... Oh, it got even scarier. Okay. Now we're going to warp like this. Man, how the hell are we going to get over to this fish man? Uh, then I guess we go like this. I'm so confused. How do I get to you, fish man? How do I get to you? Um, oh, I, I have an idea. Go over like this. I like how my character in the upside down is like standing on spikes, but it doesn't seem to bother her all that much. No, wait, now, now I'm further back from where I need to go. How did that happen? I, 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 not only did I not make progress, I actually went backwards. Okay, hold on. How, how the heck do you get over to that dude? Okay, so we want to try and get over to the right little pocket of space there. Um, uh, like, wait. Okay, it's in the red dimension that I want to climb. I'm confused. Hold on. And now, go to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right, damn it. Okay, so we need to kind of be in the middle zone when we're in the red. Wow, Th this game got, like, the first few levels were, like, surprisingly easy. I could just sort of chat to you guys, not really pay attention to what I was doing. Now I actually have to think about what's going on. Um, okay, let me do this. So what I am trying to do is get into the red dimension and be over on the right side of the screen. Okay. Oh, maybe I don't have to climb up the whole way? No, I do. This makes very little sense. Oh, this is what I want. Boom, and I can climb. Yes! All right, fish man. Your love will be mine. Yes! Okay, we did it! We solved the puzzle. All right. Oh, yeah. Give that fish a kiss. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so this game was the first in a whole series of, of uh, mighty games, by the way. This game is called... Uh, Mighty Flip Champs. I think there was Mighty Milk Milky Way, and there was also like Mighty Cops or something like that. I actually didn't write down the titles. I wish I had now. 
but they're all puzzle platformers that have a different mechanic. I think the Milky Way one is about jumping between planets, and the cop one is about a female police officer who has to capture escaped female convicts. Uh, which, if that is your thing, then, uh, you know, power to you. Oh, I know what to do here. You start falling, and then you warp dimensions. Whoa! A mid- a mid-fall warp. That's cool. Okay, so now, do we want to do the same thing? Oh, but we want to, like, warp fast. Okay, so we go... And then again, again, again! No! <laughs> Into the spikes! Ah, oh, damn. Okay. So how does that actually work? Oh, maybe we have to fall all the way down before we warp. So we go through the spikes. Interesting. I like how this game is making me think. So the mechanic in this game is simple, but as you can see, there's like a lot of nuance to it. It actually, you know what? It kind of reminds me of Portal. Um, not in the sense of like the, uh, the mechanic in this game is as complex as it was in Portal. Portal, I mean, what made Portal so awesome is it came out of nowhere. And it was a remarkably simple puzzle game, but it had this one mechanic that we had never quite seen before, and it, like, blew all of our minds. So Portal is totally awesome. I feel like this game, the mechanic isn't quite as inventive as Portal, but it definitely feels very unique and its own thing. And they're using it in such cool ways that, like, it, it has that sort of Portal-esque feel to it, if you guys know what I mean. Uh, it kind of uh, also reminds me of Braid. So if you've ever played Braid, Braid, I think, is, a, is, is similar. In that, uh, oh, this is interesting. We're really trapped in this little like zone here. Um, and then what? I wonder though. Oh, we're d we're totally dead. There we go. So we're okay. Go like this. Climb out. So braid braid was like another game where it's like a very simple game, uh, but it has like a very sort of interesting little mechanic, and the whole game is sort of built around that mechanic, and it really sort of, oh god makes you think and work and i I'm, I'm having trouble forming my thoughts and playing at the same time here i don't even know if i'm making progress or not but we seem to be we seem to be on the other side of the screen which is always a good sign uh so i guess i'll do this and now i don't even remember where Fishman is actually so i th think this will be okay all right that seemed to work and oh i think i think we did it i think we made it Interesting. I wish I could see all the dimensions so I could sort of plan my moves better, but, you know, you take what you can get when you're trying to make love to a fish man. Go like this, I guess. Oh, fish man is gone. He ain't come back. He ain't coming back at all. Do this, I guess. Like, I don't... I, 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 now, I, now I'm not sure if we're making progress or not. Now I'm really not sure. I guess we'll just go in here, this little hole. Like this... Is this good? Are we, is this what we want? So yeah, I mean, this this totally does remind me of the first time. Damn it, we're on the wrong side of the screen. We went backwards somehow. Wait, how did he get over there? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Okay, we'll just, I'm just doing random things and hoping eventually it works. I mean, that was kind of my MO in Portal and Braid. Braid, another very simple game with a very cool mechanic. That one is warping time. Oh, am I in the rocks? Damn it, I'm dead. I love these little montages between the levels, too. Like, look at her. I mean, that's actually pretty... For a kid's game... Uh, you know what? Nintendo has this, like, re really weird... Uh, really weird, like, reputation as, like, a manufacturer of kid's games. Because, like, that little... Uh, that little scene b between scenes there was not super child-friendly. I mean, it was, like, a little bit inappropriate for children, I think. We're just going to fall down here. That looks good. Um, sure. Keep going. Uh, let's go. Wait, where was the fish man? He was on this side of the screen. What's, what's hard is like the left and the right are reversed in the two dimensions. If you guys can see that. Okay, then we gotta go like this. So the fish man. Oh, now he's on the other side of the screen. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Are the dimensions swapping like left to right at times? Is it, This is wrinkling my brain, guys. Okay, let's just do this. And do this. And then I guess go over here. And then I guess if we just survive long enough, eventually we have to find the love of a fish man. This, this has got to happen eventually. By the way, the uh, devs for this game totally actually did take inspiration from uh, Link's Awakening. I wasn't just sort of 
saying that at the beginning of the video just for funsies. Um, oh wait. Ah, uh, he's like right there, but I won't be able to get to him. It's so annoying. Maybe I could just... No, I, I want to be here, obviously, because this is a harder thing to get to. Damn it. So, how the heck... How the heck do we get to you, dude? It confuses me. Okay, well, let's just go in over here, I guess. We haven't... Okay, so this is what I did last time. Then what? He's... What side of the screen is he on? Crap, I can't... I'm, I'm looking on both sides of the screen. It's messing me up. So, I guess... I guess we want to go over here. I don't think... So this is the, what we did last time before I died. But if I don't die this time, maybe this will be all I need. Okay. So we're going to go like this. Then we're going to go like this. And then we're going to... Oh, God. Do this, I guess. And then do this. Which will take us over here. And somehow this is all going to lead to uh, exactly what we want. Somehow this is all going to work out, guys. Trust me. Oh, no! no damn it! Damn it! Oh, God. I saw the mistake. It's, I, it was too late. I had already pressed the button. But I knew exactly what I did wrong there. Damn it. All right, let's see what kind of, like, uh, sexy pinup we get between levels this time. See our heroine Alta. Oh, we didn't get one? What the heck? Okay, let's just do what we did last time and hope it works. So he's on the right side of our screen. The right side of our screen. The right side. I know I'm saying it a lot, but I just don't want to forget. He's on the right side of our screen. Okay, we got this. Um, another interesting little bit of trivia for this game. Guess how long it took them to produce this game. After they came up with the idea and stuff. You know what? I'm going to try this. Let's try doing something a little different. Because what we've been doing has not been working out for us. So we're going to try something a little different. Alright. And we seem to have just gotten back to where we started. Okay. Can we do this, I wonder? Wait. Go. No, wait. We do this. No, oh, we're dead! Damn it. Thought we could cheese the game and, like, end up on that ledge. Okay, another interesting bit of trivia for this game. You know how long it took to produce? Two months. That is, like, an insane production schedule. I guess it just goes to show you how, like, the game isn't actually that really, really that sophisticated. I mean, like, honestly, I say this in, in a good way, but this game could have come out in, like, the 1980s. There's nothing gameplay-wise mechanics here that couldn't have existed in even the golden age of arcade games. I mean, this could have been out on Atari. You know, like, if you had the right programmers and stuff, uh, it wouldn't have looked nearly as nice, but the concept could have been out on Atari. There's absolutely no reason why it couldn't. Uh, which which is kind of saying something, and again, I don't mean it in a, a bad way. I actually mean it in a positive way, in the sense of, like, this feels like kind of an old-school, platformy kind of game, where, um, you know, it, it feels like a retro game. It just happens to have come out in 2009, but it might as well have been a retro game uh, from sort of my perspective. So I, I like, okay, I'm getting stuck on this level for sure. But going back to like the unique game mechanic we got going on here, I kind of like what they're doing. I, I appreciate what they're doing here. Um, okay, so we, we can definitely make it to that point, but then we kind of get stuck here. So like, what are we missing? So I want to get to the right side of the screen. He's on the right side. I'm going to the left, which is bad. Now I'm going up, which is also... I'm going up and to the left, which is the opposite of where I will find him. My 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 fish love. He's not over here. Okay. So now I want to go like this. I haven't been in here before. Go like this. Okay, as long as I cannot warp myself into a wall. That's like... Isn't that like Nightcrawler's fear in uh, X-Men? Where How he doesn't like to like teleport into places he hasn't seen. Because... Ah, into the wall! Damn it! I thought I had that. He doesn't like to warp into places he hasn't seen because he's afraid of teleporting into a wall. Okay, hold on. I need I need a second to think about this game before we can actually pass it together, guys. Okay, then we want this. This. Oh. Do we have it? Do we have it? Oh, we did it! Oh, man. Okay, so I was on the track there. The, the spot I kept dying at at this level, what I was like literally two hops away from passing the level. Um, and there we go. Yeah, they really gave her a very skimpy outfit, I will say that. 
Um, this game, by the way, as I was playing that level, I was also thinking this game totally reminds me of Sliders. I don't know if you guys ever watched that show. It was a sci-fi show. And uh, it always started off by going, Sliders. And it was about uh, some characters who could pass uh, be between... Oh, God! Oh, damn it. I walked into Spikes. It's about characters who could pass between parallel dimensions. And so the whole premise is like... They would see multiple versions of Earth, and so every episode they hop to, like, a different Earth. So it's like one of the first Earths they hop to is one um, where the uh, Soviets have taken over America. Okay, so this is a level where the world will constantly flip by itself, um, and I don't have to do anything. So it's like those levels in Portal, where there's, like, a portal gun that's shooting out portals, and you can have no say in, like, uh, when they come out. Walk. There we go. A little wait. Get lined up here. This level seems like not too bad, actually. It's interesting how they're still inventing like uh, new mechanics, though, to like mix it up a little bit. Wonder. So I wonder what like the backstory is for this like magic wand. And also, truly, like, what is the backstory for the love between this woman and this fish man? How did they meet? Why are they in love? He's a fish, for God's sakes. Seems uh. Seems seem slightly unusual, but I mean, hey, who am I to judge? You know, if, if a woman wants to love a fish... <laughs> hey, I mean, why the hell not? Oh, I tripped! Oh, we were doing so well, too. We were doing so well. Okay, let's let's try this level one more time here. You know what, while this level's going on, actually, I'm going to start wrapping up my thoughts here of uh, Mighty Flip Champs. Because I feel like, uh, although this game is, is quite interesting, we've seen about... Uh, we've seen a good variety of gameplay, and, and I feel like we can get a sense of, like, what this game is actually like. So, Super Flip Champs here. Very cool little puzzle game. Definitely gives me feelings of Portal and Braid. I will say, I don't think it's as cool as either of those games, but I do definitely get the same kind of, like, puzzly vibe from the both of them. And as I, as I said a few moments ago, this definitely does feel like in the vein of old-school retro games. Like, this could have been an old-school retro game that uh, they just happened to release back in the 80s. Just, I guess, no one ever sort of thought of this concept back then uh but the gameplay wise definitely feels uh like something that like people who enjoy old video games would actually appreciate so in terms of thinking about is this a game that you must play before you die i'm actually leaning towards uh, you know must play something i reserve for only the, the the games that i truly truly love but i will say i definitely think this is a game worth worth checking out it has uh, some very interesting mechanics going on with it it has some very interesting, um, unique sort of gameplay elements that I haven't seen in too many other places. And yeah, I could see this being a game that, uh, that a lot of people could enjoy. It's especially, you know, uh, an easy one. Oh god, okay, here we go. Hold on. Alright, we're gonna do it! We're gonna do it! Yeah! <laughs> Hello! So yeah, why was that wand just going by itself, I wonder? It was like, possessed. Also, the signs have eyes. That's creepy. Have you guys been noticing that? I got a D! Hey, it's a passing... Well, not really a passing grade. It's kind of a passing grade. We'll just let it slide. Uh, but yeah, I could definitely see this being the kind of game that, like, uh, people could actually enjoy. So if you're looking for, like, a little puzzler, definitely I think that this is a, um, a good game. I understand why it was in the book. I understand why it's gotten so much acclaim. Because it's got a lot of acclaim. It's, like, one of the best little DSi games uh, that were out there back when the DSi store was a thing. So, uh, hey, if you're looking for, like, a fun puzzler, this might be the game that you're looking for. But, hey, that's just my opinion. What do you guys think of uh, Mighty Flip Champs here? Have you played it before? Is it a game that you have beaten and you agree with me and you enjoy? Or is it a game that uh, you're not super interested in? Oh, he wants the pig. We have to solve the Look how sad he is. Oh, he's sad that there's no pig. All right, fine. We'll save your friend the pig. Oh, man. Okay, now i got to beat this level because I just want to see what happens with the pig. Um, but, yeah, this game was considered a very good DSi game. A lot of people um, sort of recommended it and enjoyed it, etc., etc. So um, I totally get why they did that. And, yeah. So, yeah, do you guys have any fun, fond memories of this game that you want to share with us? If so, please do in the comments down below. As always, guys, I have enjoyed checking this game out with you. And if you've enjoyed 
having me check it out with you. I hope you will like and or subscribe to the channel. I am super confused about what to do next and where to go. How the heck... How the heck do you do this? Oh, wait. Maybe I do this. And then I do this. Ah, see, I'm thinking, guys. I like how when she's, like, on this thing, she's just there wiggling her butt. Look at that. It's almost hypnotic. All right, let's get this pig and get the hell out of here. All right, come here, piggy. Oh, we, we just absorbed the pig. All right, maybe... Maybe the other dude wants, like, a Christmas ham or something. And now, how the heck... How did we get up there to begin with? I don't even remember. Wait, maybe we can just do this? Maybe this is, like, a shortcut? So, like, take us back where we need to go, I think. Yeah, that's working. All right, there we go. All right, fish man, I got your pig. Give me a kiss. Or actually, let me kiss you, I guess. It's a very one-sided relationship. All right, guys, that's it for me today for Mighty Flip Champs. I will see you guys soon. Until then, try and stay in your home dimension because parallel ones are weird. Until next time, my friends, take care of yourselves and peace. Who are these two cows, I wonder, as well? What's their stake in the game? Oh, this one's a fun one. Falling between dimensions. Man, if you actually had the ability to, like, swap between dimensions, it would cause all kinds of trouble. It'd be awesome.